Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien speaking on Wednesday, March 20th. Spring will be here at 5.50 something today. Still feels like winter in Georgia, USA here, though. I wanted to do a video and add on to the one I did yesterday for Laura Ingram on entitlements and Generation E. Well, Miss Ingram, I got two responses yesterday that one sided with you saying you were all, that you were saying the right things. Where does this lady come from? I don't know. But she must be a Gen Xer. Because they're the only ones that think that crazy. And here is why you're wrong, Miss Ingram, and big time. Entitlements and white nationalism. Those two go side by side. Give you a hint. Nazi Germany, white nationalism, entitlement. South Africa, white nationalism and entitlement. And especially Rhodesia, or as you call it now, Zimbabwe, under Ian Smith, their prime minister. Boy, did they have it made, didn't they, for the whites? But when they lost in the mid-70s, there was a flight out of South Rhodesia you don't never seen. And you were probably too young, you didn't even look at it. Same with South Africa in the 1990s. Uh, you know, um, and how about the United States? You guys created the problem. There was entitlement here, too. You guys are the ones that started entitlement. Number one, with your Republican president, Theodore Roosevelt, and the square deal. Then his cousin Franklin Roosevelt and the New Deal under the Democrats. But you Republicans uh, have chided the Democrats for doing this. The Square Deal is the one that started it all. And the problem was the New Deal. With the thinking of the New Deal of entitlements. But you never stop to think about foundation generations. Look at the generations that came. The greatest generation went through the worst depression and economic times this country has ever had, and none of us who live today come close to understanding what it was. And the greatest war that this country has fought in, because it was either you or them. It was no political war. This was a war of two things, of Nazism or freedom. And it came close to being Nazism, didn't it? But look at a generation since. The silent generation that grew up in the uh, late 40s and 50s and was, uh, you know, 20 years or 20-year-olds uh, in the early 60s. They're the ones that started the uh, entitlement generation because they were the anti-war in Vietnam generation for the most part them and part of the uh, baby boomers, which I'm part of, and you are maybe, you know, you're a Gen X or so, I'm assuming. Well, anyway, they're the ones that started the mess with their entitlements and uh, uh, government, and don't government can't do this and government can't do that. Then my generation, they're baby boomers. We had a party because, remember, the Earth, uh, the uh, Earth's, economy was almost destroyed by World War II. And the Americans had a field day for about 35 years or so. But then came your generation, the Gen, Gen Xers from 64 to, what, 70 uh, or 82, some place, uh, some people say, in there. And you guys thought you had a party, but the party was drying up when you guys were being, uh, you know, in the, 60, in the 20s and 30s. So, hey, then the millennials were left holding the bag. They didn't understand it because the government kept on borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. And today, Gen E, which are, you know, late Gen Xers, early uh, millennials. Look, look at the people that are supposed to be big shots in Hollywood and all over the place. They're paying for the kids to go there. But most of the Generation E 
is made up of hapless people, what you would call white trash. In my generation, it was called white trash. Were you white trash, Miss Ingle? Probably, but because of the World War II situation, a lot of white trash became acceptable, or as the old people would say, no varish. Look that up, Miss Ingram, no varish. So when you open your mouth, make sure you get your facts right. Thanks.